We are here to show you what's in the box and the basic architecture of the IEFIS touchscreen system from MGL Avionics. The IEFIS is the most flexible piece of avionics on the market today for experimentals and light sport aircraft. The display allows you to toggle between multiple page views and although each EFIS ships with great default screens, the user is able to completely customize the appearance of each page using our available PC design program if desired. All functions are easily accessed on the screen using our unique push screen touch screen. This technology prevents unintentional swipes from activating functions in turbulence. To activate a function, you actually have to push the screen like a button. And of course, we retain knobs and buttons that can be used to control the system whenever these controls are preferred. Let's have a look at the system and see what's in the box. The IEFIS displays come in several different sizes and can be mixed and matched as required. All that each display needs to work is the included power and ground harness and the included EFIS LAN coax cable that connects the screen to the iBox. Other connectors on the back include a VGA output if you would like to have a dummy repeater screen in the system and a video input connector that accepts up to four video inputs for things such as taxi cameras and FLIRs. If using multiple displays, you need to set the node address of the additional screens using the dip switches in the rear. The heart of the IEFIS system is the iBox. It conducts the symphony of communication between all system devices, including the AHRS, RDAC and the Autopilot servos, and the IEFIS screens. The iBox contains the GPS engine with included antenna, outside air temperature probe, power and ground connectors, and the pitot-static and angle of attack sensors. The iBox also communicates with third-party devices such as radios, transponders, ADS-B devices via its RS-232 and ARINC interfaces. Six RS-232 devices can be connected to the system. The iBox also has multiple analog inputs for things such as trim and flap indications and it includes an audio output for voice alarms. The iBox uses a reliable two-wire CAN bus network to communicate with all MGL system devices. The principle of CAN bus is that everything is connected in a long daisy chain. The network starts at the iBox and then travels to each device one at a time in any order. At the last device, the network is terminated with a terminator resistor. We recommend purchasing our pre-made CAN bus harnesses since they allow you to simply click the devices together using Molex connectors with no wire splicing required. Best of all, you cannot make a polarity mistake because connectors can only go one way. Each harness is labelled for the device it connects to and includes power and ground wires and CAN wires coming in and going out. Once you've installed your iBox, AHRS, RDAC and Servos, simply connect the iBox CAN harness to the iBox and then grab the harness that has the correct name on it for each device and stuff it in. Then, start at the iBox and string all the devices together in a daisy chain, one into the next, using the included CAN link extensions to extend the runs if necessary. At the end of the chain, terminate the network with the included terminator resistor connector. Connect the iBox to the IEFIS display using the included iBox LAN coax cable. Daisy chain this LAN to additional screens if required. The attitude sensor should be mounted free from vibration, level and facing forwards. The compass sensor should be mounted as far away as you can get it from ferrous materials, also level and facing forwards. The RDAC can be mounted on the engine side of the firewall. All engine senders connect directly to the RDAC. Getting an MGL IEFA system installed and wired up with our available harness is about as easy as can be. The modularity and flexibility of the system makes it a great fit for any aircraft. We hope you'll enjoy installing it and flying behind it as much as we do.